now they have continuity. What can that be, especially for those quarterbacks now in year number two? Well, I think you'll see the eyes of David Ash go from here, like they were <laughs> last year, to here. More confident, stable. He's got more command in the pocket. And you're going to see that. He's going to protect the ball better. I know, going from year one to year two, I played as a redshirt freshman. He played as a true freshman. It's going to be a world of Stop. difference. The game's going to slow down for him this year, and I think we'll see it starting in game one. But, Chris, i got to ask you, as a quarterback, what do you want to see out of Marquise Goodwin? Ahmad, the first thing I wanted to see, I've already seen he's here. He wasn't even here at this time last year, so I'm happy to see that Marquise Goodwin is present. The second thing I want to see, coverage recognition, recognizing man coverage, being able to run away from it. When the Cowboys go zone, be able to find those open spots to sit down for your quarterback. That's really going to help the confidence of Dave and that's going to help timing, which is one of the most important things between a quarterback and a receiver. <laughs> Who's your guy, Chris? Guys, one of the biggest storylines of the year and the most important position on the football field, it's got to be David Ashmi, the quarterback. Will he show the difference from year one to year two? Will he be confident? Will he be composed? Will he protect the football? I want to see David Ash play at the next level today. Welcome to this 90-minute edition of Texas Game Day Final. I'm Lowell Galindo here with Ahmad Brooks and Chris Ricks. Coach, offensively, the running game was lights out with Brown and Bergeron. You mentioned the efficiency of your quarterback, David Ash. 20 of 27, you can't ask much more, protected the football. What would you like to see him do better breaking down the film from week one to week two? I'd like to get out of the huddle a little bit better and, and have a little better tempo. I thought we, we were too close to the clock a couple of times. Six. Six for six overall as far as getting points. What was the difference in the red zone in this game? Not a lot of MAs from the offensive linemen. What's that? Missed assignments. And we mentioned the red zone, the execution. What I'd like to see better when I break down this film is blocking from the wide receivers. Mike Davis, he took pride in blocking tonight. Tonight. I'd did. like to see some of those other receivers. Yes, they're young, and they're going to learn to become better blockers, and that's going to lead to more yards in the run game. Like I said, I think they left some yards on the field tonight.